Hey, what's going on my friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Today, we're actually gonna be talking about two cinema lens sets. Now, the new one by Sure, this is the Nightwalker lens set. We have the 24, the 35, and the 55, and one that I've already reviewed before, and that is the Seven Artisans Visions Cine lens set, and that's the 25, the 35, and the 50 millimeter lens. They're slightly different when it comes to focal lengths, but uh, they are in sets, so we're gonna be comparing the set, see which one works with you, and uh, I do have to say as well, well, image quality is subjective when it comes to cinematography. Sometimes you don't want things to be tack sharp. Sometimes you want a little bit of character. So we're going to see what the differences are and which one might actually suit you better, especially when it comes to, you know, your particular project. So we've got a lot to get through. Timestamps will be below. So let's get into it. So the Seven Artisans Vision Cine Lens Set goes from a 12mm T2.9 to a 25, 35 and 50 T1.05. They have a 270 degree focus throw, 82mm front filter thread, the aperture and focus ring are in the same location and they can be bought now for 449 US. Whereas the Sure Nightwalker Cine Lens Set is a T1.2 and they come in a 24, 35 and a 55mm lens. They have a 67mm front filter thread and they're currently on Indiegogo for 309 USD. So the biggest differences right off the bat happens to be the size and obviously the form factor. The Sure ones tend to be pretty much the same size throughout the three, whereas uh, all three of these lenses that I've got for the Vision Cine lenses, it's, um, they do vary in size and weight. But the one thing that does seem to be the same is the focus ring and the aperture ring seem to be in the exact same spot between each three lenses, and especially with these three lenses as well, which obviously is a big plus when it comes to cinematography. Now you also did notice that the Sure is a 67 millimeter front filter thread, whereas the Vision Cine lenses is an 82 millimeter front filter thread. So it is slightly larger on the Vision, so pro, con, really depends on your shooting style. And another one of the clear differences between these two lenses is that because they are thicker, they actually have lens mounting points on there. So if you do want to have, you know, lens support mounts, you can actually attach it to this. Whereas the Sure doesn't have that, but they are smaller and lighter, so they probably don't need lens mount supports anyway. And the last major difference between these two is that the Sure actually comes in this black one that we've got here, and it also comes in like a dark sort of metal gray version. So you do have an option there of which one you actually want to choose, whereas the Vision Cine lenses are just black, they're standard, it looks perfectly fine to me. Now when it comes to the performance of these two, the Sure's focus ring is definitely lighter. It is really easy to focus with one finger, whereas the Vision Cine lenses is actually quite tough, but they're both nice and smooth, so it really depends on what you actually prefer. Me personally, I prefer a tougher focus ring as opposed to, you know, the smooth one is just a little bit too smooth for my liking. But if you tend to focus with your hands, ripping and gripping, it's probably going to be a bit easier with the Sure as opposed to the Vision Cine lens. And also with the focus, they both have a very similar focus throw. This is 270, which is great. 270 degrees is more than enough you need. Now the great thing about both of these sets is that they do come in Sony E, Fuji X, Canon RF, uh, Panasonic L mounts, and also Micro Four Thirds as well. So there's a whole bunch of different mounts that you can buy this for, and that is really good, obviously, for other people who don't uh, have just Sony E mounts. So right now, obviously, the price is 309 USD on Indiegogo, so we have to take that into consideration. But obviously, when it's not on Indiegogo, and you can actually buy it through retail stores, it's definitely going to be a a bit more expensive, not 100% sure what the price will be, but it'll probably be very similar to these Vision Cine lenses. So this is 449 US, so 309, 449. So you'd imagine this would go up to maybe 399 USD, so it could potentially be a little bit cheaper after the Indiegogo campaign. Okay, now let's talk about the image quality of these. Now, by image quality, I mean, let's just see which one's sharper, which one has, you know, chromatic aberration, uh, flaring. We just test all those because it really depends on what you prefer at the end of the day. If you want character, if you want sharpness. So let's get into the 24 millimeters and the 25 millimeter lens. So right off the bat, you can see the size differences between the Visions 25 and the Nightwalker 24. Obviously, the Visions 25 is much larger. It's much heavier but let's see what the image quality is like. So wide open at T1.5, the Vision Cine lens 
is very, very soft. It's quite dreamy. It looks like there's a, uh, a mist filter on the front and it definitely lacks that contrast. If we do stop it down to T1.2, the same as the Suray lens, it does seem that the Suray lens is a little bit sharper, but there does seem to be a little bit of a warm cast with the Suray lens, whereas the Vision Cine lens is relatively neutral, which is really good. So it just really depends on what you actually prefer there. But if we do stop it down a little bit further, the Suray lens does seem a little bit sharper than the Vision Cine lens. Now, one thing you will notice is that the light actually looks different. And I did discover this in this video and not in my previous review, that the T-stop actually is incorrect. Now that's not good for cinematographers, especially if you're on set, you set it to T1.4, you swap the lens out and you've set it to T1.4 again, and the light transmission's different. You've you know, set the scene up, the lighting's meant to be correct, and you're getting a little bit more light or you're getting less light. You don't want that. T-stops are meant to be the transmitted light that goes into your sensor. So they're meant to be accurate and I do think they've just put the T-stops in the wrong position. And uh, it's a bit of a shame I didn't pick that up before, but I did pick it up now with the 25. But in saying that, it just looks like there's a little bit more light transmission because at T2, this one actually, you know, gives a little bit more light and you stop it down to T2.8, that's where things become a little bit similar. So now we go over to the 35 millimeter lens. They are very similar in size and in weight. Yeah, they're very similar as well. The Seven Artisan seems to be a little bit heavier. Now, when it comes to the image quality, the 35 mil lens on this Seven Artisans is actually really, really sharp at T1.05, which is incredible if you do want to shoot wide open. You know, you stop it down to T1.2 and T1.4, and it just sharpens up even more. And it is sharper than the Suray lens at T1.2 and T1.4. But it does have a little bit of a warm cast to it, and this one seems neutral, so it's kind of rolls are reversed with this one. Now, lastly, let's compare the 50 millimeters from the Visions versus the 55 from the Nightwalker. So there is a five millimeter difference with that uh, field of view, but when it comes to the image quality, the Vision Cine lens wide open at T1.5 is very, 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 very soft. It, it lacks contrast. It's super dreamy. It's like you've got a two strength, you know, mist filter on there. It's crazy misty. Even if you do stop it down to T1.4, it's not as sharp as the Suray lens. But once again, what we do see is a little bit more light transmission from the 50 mm lens as opposed to the Suray 55. So the T-stop does seem a little bit off because I did expose with uh, zebras as well. So that's how I know that the exposure is actually different. So what I did notice with the Suray lenses, they seem to be a little bit more consistent when it comes to sharpness and image quality. Sure, the coatings must be slightly different on each because you know a couple of them are a bit warm. But the one thing with both of these, if you do actually start swapping lenses in the set and you've set your white balance, that's gonna change your colors a little bit in post-production. So a little bit annoying. They should be very similar when it comes to colors and you know what color it actually renders, but uh, it is what it is. You just have to be aware of that. Now, we got to talk about the image quality from edge to edge. Now, this one does differ quite a lot between Seven Artisans and Suray. So you will notice that Seven Artisans is relatively sharp in the center, but when you go out to the edges, that's where it softens up. So it's very vintage-like. It gives you a little bit more characteristics to the edges. So focuses in on the center nice, and then softens up on the edges, where Suray is pretty much sharp in the center, and it's sharp on the outside when it is sharp in the center. So it's pretty much identical performance within the center as the corner. So not as much characteristics, a little bit more clinical sharpness in the Suray lenses. So it just really depends on which one you wanna go for. Do you need that sharpness, or would you actually prefer a little bit more character, a little bit more softness to the edges? And also when it comes to the bokeh quality, they're much of a mushness here. The Seven Artisans has 13 blade diaphragm, whereas the Suray has a 12 blade diaphragm. So the bokeh should look very similar. And yeah, you can pretty much tell by these images. So now this is the flare test, but you can also see the chromatic aberration in this one as well. We'll start with the 55 at T1.4 by Suray, and you can see it's relatively clean. There isn't really too much uh, distracting elements in the frame. 
We go over to the 35 at the T1.4, same again, it's relatively clean when it comes to that flaring. And now we move to the 24 T1.4 and similar thing, it's pretty clean when it comes to the flares. When we go over to the 7 Artisans at 50 mil, you can see it's relatively clean, doesn't really wash out too much when there's a bright light source there. We go over to the 35 millimeters and it starts to wash out a little bit in the corners when it really leaks into the sides and direct sun, you can see there's a lot of flaring there. And we go to the wide angle and you can see there's some sort of flaring artifact there. Uh, so it doesn't wash out the image too much. But overall, you can see the Sure controls the flares much better than the 7 Artisans. The 7 Artisans is very reminiscent of a vintage lens. So it really depends on which one you personally actually prefer. Now, when it comes to chromatic aberration, it does vary between the lenses. So we're gonna keep it at T1.4 to see what the chromatic aberration is like. With the 24, you do still have some with the 35 and also with the 55. You do have to stop it down to about a T2 to a T2.4 is when the chromatic aberration starts to go away. Whereas the Seven Artisans Visions lens at the 25, you don't really have any at the 1.4. There is a little bit on the 35 and you don't really have much on the 50 as well. So realistically overall wide open, Seven Artisans tends to control the chromatic aberrations better than the Sure lenses. So, you know, overall, it's really just much of a muchness. It really depends on what image you like. You're going to get a very similar image out of both of these. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit better light transmission because the Vision Cine lens is a T1.05, so it does open up really bright. But then, obviously, the image becomes a little bit softer. You probably may miss focus because it actually is very difficult to focus. Even with the T1.2, it is a little bit difficult to focus because it's not perfectly sharp. But if you stop them both down to about T1.4 to T sort of 1.6, that's when you kind of have the best of both worlds when it comes to sharpness and image quality on these things. So anyway, my friends, the link will be in the description below if you do want to check out the new Nightwalker series. It's on Indiegogo now, or you can check out the Vision Cine lenses, which you can pretty much purchase right now as well. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one you actually prefer. It's completely subjective when you're trying to compare lenses. Um, so yeah, let me know. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.